Although we have PGA Tour 2K21 coming out fairly soon, uh, August 21st, uh, there is still a couple of months to technically, I suppose you could say three months or the life left in TGC 2019. And we have an awful lot of new players have actually joined the game now uh, over the last few months with it joining, with it being part of a PlayStation Now, uh, as well as just being on sale. And obviously, all the circumstances, people being stuck at home, they've picked up the game. <clears throat> to give it a go so what i wanted to do now this this can also be applicable to long-term players as well who may not have realized what you can do what a lot of us do myself included as soon as we first get on the game just to warm ourselves up uh warm up the swing get your thumb or whatever way you grip and take a swing just to warm it up as we'll, we'll head into the driving range just take shot after shot after shot after shot until we feel comfortable enough that right we've got the swing where we want to be we're fairly happy uh, what you can also do as well is obviously you can go chip and practice, you can practice your short game and stuff, or you can do put and practice. Now we're going to go into the put and practice first uh, for a couple of things, but uh, it's just for different ways of warming yourself up and for conditions as well and such. Now I will apologise, I do hope that it's not going to be the case, but obviously with the surge of new players as well, there's an awful lot of people online at once, uh, so it's taking a bit of a lengthy time to load up here and there like you know but we'll see what we can do anyway but straight off the bat when we come into the putting practice um what you can do is you can hit it head into the options menu and you can turn auto mulligan on so if i take this put now and i have it on i'll be able to retake i'll be able to take it as much as i want even if i do drop it in the hole um but what a lot of people what a number of people don't realize what you can do is uh, if you're on xbox or pc using an xbox controller um it'll be the b button if you're using keyboard and mouse unfortunately i don't know what it is but to get into the overhead anyway ps4 it's circle so you can press circle so at the moment now we have a 29 sorry 25 foot pull so we'll press circle and as you can see we're up in this we're up in the uh, the overhead now so if we zoom in all the way down you see that's where our golfer is now and we're until we hole out we're going to be going for this going for this hole highlight by the yellow but say for example I don't want to be working on that sort of range of putt. Maybe I only want to work on work on a very short little putt. So we're just gonna go here and just select that spot. And now we're right at it. So now what we'll do, just, just so I can show you, we're zoomed right in there. We'll come back right to the edge of this bunker. Again, we're gonna be aimed at that hole. So there you go, right at the edge of the bunker, so now we can practice from here if we want. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Now if you notice up on the top right, you'll see underneath the green and 100%, you'll see the 144 feet, so that's the green speed. Um, that's the that's always 100% going to be the default, that's going to be the green speed for the practice facility. But what we're going to do, we are going to quit back out to the main menu. Um, TGC Tours event is starting up now, uh, so we're going to head online societies. So keep 144 in mind for the green speed. And again, I will apologise now if this does take a little bit to load up. It's just it's very very laggy. I'm on an uh, an OG or an original PS4, so I think it was early 2014 when I got mine. Or what year was the PS4 released again? I can't remember. But uh, if it takes too long, what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll shut me trap and I'll just speed. Ah, oh, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll speed it up. So we go down to I know all the other ones I have already started, but uh, what we do is we'll click into TGC Tours for the PGA Tour, and what we can do again if it loads up fairly quick. Hopefully it does. There we go, that's not too bad. Right, so here we are on the thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the event. And now what a lot of societies will do is they'll keep the course conditions at default and maybe just change up the wind here and there. So at the moment, so this event now, currently for this round, round one on uh, PGA Tour and TGC Tours, is going to play fairways and greens are going to be firm and the green speed is going to be fast. I'm not going to worry about the wind because the wind speed is always going to be default when we do this, no matter what it is. It's going to be default for the facility. But what we'll do is we'll back out now. So we've got firm and fast. And again, hopefully it just, hopefully it loads up fairly quick. Bit of a nightmare lately.
there we go finally <laughs> didn't take too long i was about to start speeding it up there um but yeah what we can do now um down below my name on the right hand side of the screen there you'll see if you're on pc using uh, mouse and keyboard again i don't i don't know what the key bindings are for that um but obviously you see more options and it's triangle for yourself on ps4 if we highlight the event and press triangle and go to course details that will bring up if you're interested in another course maybe that a designer has done you can obviously you can go to more by designer it'll bring up the whole list of courses that that designer has done but what we're interested in doing is going to practice now i'm going to do this in two different ways um so we click on practice and we're going to go put in practice so back onto the put in green it's going to bring it back into the default put in practice facility but what you'll see is as soon as it loads up it shouldn't take too long with it just be in the facility there we go it's loading up reasonably quick so remember 144 was the green speed a minute ago as you can see up in the top right now it's 175 so it's now going to this is the only downside to it is it's going to the default conditions of the course so even though we'll actually we'll test it actually in a minute i'll load up tdc tours um but just say for example the designer set the course conditions at default of medium fast or something like that and it's maybe 163 is the green is the default green speed if a society president changes the course conditions for the greens to be very fast so one 187s you'll still unfortunately get the default thing that's the only that's literally the only downside but um you can now get a feel for what the default conditions anyway would be like so we could do like or it's a uh, 41 foot put so you can still do the same things you can go up into the overhead you can change all your positions so if you want to put from here you can change it to that so exactly the same as what we did a few minutes ago um <clears throat> but what we'll do so I'll, like i mean i'll give you a good idea of what the green speed will be like but what else we can do if we go to quit that should take us back to back to where we were just a second ago, nice and quick we're now going to go to chip and practice and um, what this can help you do is if you're ever wondering what way a ball is going to act on a green in certain conditions if we go into the overhead again now you have to be in chip and practice for this unfortunately you can't do it from the put practice if we now just bring the marker down to here we'll just we'll just drop it here on the fairway we we're still going to be aimed at at that hole the one that's highlighted so if we just say just bring it down to here for now um and as you can see if we press triangle just to zoom in that's the hole we were aimed at and what you can do now is i'm pressing completely the wrong buttons um what you can do now is we've got a 161 yard shot to that actual pin but i mean i can completely change what i'll do if i want to practice from there from, uh, for a minute for a few minutes um i will do auto mulligan on and what i'll do maybe i want to get a feel for these course conditions what a pitching wedge is going to roll out so we'll just make sure that that will make the green it will make the green so now what i can do don't be worrying about as i did mention a minute ago the wind speed is going to be default so if i go back to back into the default chipping practice facility from the main menu the wind speed is going to be pretty similar it's always going to be just default whatever the whatever the game throws at you um so the the other that's another downside is is if you're doing this now and you've got a headwind you can't work with a tailwind it's it, unless it changes itself unless it rotates so you get what i mean there so we're stuck with a tailwind but what we want to do is we take a swing so just like that all that we want to do is just now look at the bottom right in your shot feedback it's carried 137 and in these default fair and fast conditions it's rolled out to 143 so that's uh 137 six yard six yard roller we'll just do that again just to be sure now again do keep in mind as well that we do have a tailwind so a headwind could be slightly different but again 136 a touch down on and rolled out to 130 or 142 so six yard roll it again let's try let's try and see if a nine iron will roll it a little bit more so I'll take our swing and that is going to carry to 
147 border on 148 and we've got about a nine yard roll out there got about a nine yard roll out. let's see let's just try it one more time so again perfect perfect sent it into the green it's going to touch down at 147 pretty much it turned on to and all right pretty similar we've got an eight yard yeah eight yard roll out there so that can give you an idea you can what you can do like i mean you can go further back then and go back to say here and it's going to leave us 195 i don't want the overhead um so 195 to where that is but it lets me now go to right we'll do a yeah we'll do a six iron and oh got a slow back swing there so i'll tell you what, i'll speed that up and we'll just go for a perfect perfect didn't feel like a hell that long but is what it is there we go that's better right so where it's going to touch down all we want to do we're not worried about the carry we just want to see how much it's going to roll out so 179 bordering onto 180. So you're looking at roughly with the six iron in firm fast conditions, uh 14, 15 yard rollout. Let's try it one more time. Alright, perfect, perfect. Shitty swing line, but <laughs> we're not too concerned about that. Um so 179 again, it pretty much we we'll call it 180, pretty much turned right onto it uh depending on the slope now we did get we only got a 10 yard roll i'll try and get that a little straighter because there is a there is a yellow slope over there which would have killed the pace on the ball uh so what we'll do is yeah we'll come over here it's a little bit flatter over here that's a little bit better of a swing but right let's watch our yardage now when we touch down 181 there That's a 14, so again, that's a 14 yard rollout. And that's what, that's what you can do. You can do that for every single club. As you can see, look, I have auto mulligan on, so it's gonna, I'm going to be able to keep taking this shot um, until I want to do a different one. We'll move back a little bit more, just for one more demonstration. Uh, so, can we get... No, I need to go a little bit further back. A little bit further. We'll go back to about here. I want to take one of the woods in. Um, okay, right, yeah, this would be perfect. So five wood is a little bit shy maybe well with the wind actually it might do we could potentially take that poor little squirrel out of it but we'll see what happens all right perfect perfect well it's not going to touch down on the green unfortunately we're just a little bit too far out all right so we'll cancel that one out and we'll try the two wood because two wood is probably going to run off the back of this green now so i mean it has a default carry of 253 not too bad of a swing right let's watch where it's going to touch down touches down 246 i think that was so as you can see we've got two uh 246 266 20 24 yard roll out there from the two wood we'll move a little bit closer we'll go just about here that should be enough then for the five, for the likes of the five wood so i'll give you an idea uh, so yeah, we drop it down. Yeah, that's perfect. Wind should take that away from the slope, right? Let's see where it touches down. Oh, squirrel's nearly getting it. Two twenty-three, and it's ran out. Nineteen yards, nineteen yard rather. So that's what I'm saying. That's that's going to give you a fairly good idea for these default course conditions now i did mention a moment ago that it is 175 what i'll do is we'll just double check that just to make sure so we'll just go put in practice again just really quickly it shouldn't take too long to load up nice and quick there we go so as you can see up in the top up in the top right sorry is a uh, 175 that's the green speed pretty fast now what we're going to do just out of curiosity myself because I, i'm pretty sure it is unfortunately the default course conditions if i back out now again it should take me back to the event screen hopefully again it doesn't take too long to load up no it doesn't so what we'll do now i haven't started this event yet and as we know it is firm firm fast so let's see if it's 175 it could well be it might be a little bit faster though 
Uh, so we'll just start up the round. We've got medium wins as well. Not that it matters. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to have to play the event now anyway. Uh, and hopefully don't do as atrociously as what I did last week. <laughs> last week I think I was 6 under through 2 rounds. 5 under for the first hand. I, I just had an absolute bloody nightmare. But yeah, we're going to... I'm probably going to have to speed this footage up. Because I don't want to cut out any of the footage. Just so you can see that I am genuinely doing it. Ah, here we go. It's loading up. Okay. A little bit of a freeze there on it. Let's say it's just down to the volume of players that are online at the moment. But I'm not too concerned now about any tee shots or approach shots. I literally just want to get it on the green. I'm just curious to see exactly what the green speed is. It might be a little bit faster. Than the 175. Then again, it could be a little bit slower because the fast range is still um, roughly in the... I think it's 163 is the the lower end of the, the fast green speeds. But we already have a rough idea of how much the ball is going to run out. Um, so what we'll do... We'll just lay it up. I might as well, I might as well do a proper shot anyway because I do have to play the event. Alright, that's not too bad. Oh, we're just missing the bunker there. This might get a bit of a kick and run on. Oh, come on, get on, get on, get on. Ah, another yard or so. Not to worry. Um, right, a little chip. I'll purposely go over here and just leave it, leave ourselves with a little pull. <laughs> okay, unintentional there. I wasn't meant to nearly haul that out. All right, let's see. So there you can see now. It's a little bit slower. So what that'll do is, yeah, you know what the default green is going to be, but obviously the folks over TDC Tours have manually manually set things up. Um, so it's a it's just a little bit slower, not too slower, but you know you're just going to have to give it a little bit more pace on it. But it's a it's a good way to get a feel for how, in particular, the main thing is because what a lot of people don't take into consideration is the rollout from the ball and how much it can be affected um now it can it would be more beneficial i would prefer i would hope that we do we do get something similar to the practice facility similar to what we have now that we do get it in pga tour 2k21 when that comes out but what i'd like to see if actually anybody from hb is watching this um as is our, as is our finishing off the game or, and or 2k and you just want to you want to throw the idea there is to give us the option to actually change course conditions so firmness and speed and all that stuff for the greens so that when we are practicing we can practice on different different conditions and be able to change the wind like if i'm stuck with a tailwind say doing those approach shots on the practice facility that i can change it to be a headwind i can, I can flip the direction around and all that sort of thing it'd be it'd be a lot better for players the, the practice facility is very good for that but um just a little thing that i just wanted to show you is that a lot of people aren't aware that you can do is get an idea for how greens are going to act and that you can practice on those particular um those particular course conditions even though as i do as i do say unfortunately they are the default course conditions that the designer set the course at um so it can vary a little bit on the event but it'll give you a rough idea of how how the greens are going to react <clears throat> on an approach shot for varying clubs as well as how uh how pacey how pacey the ball might be how much uh weight or power you need to put on your putts so uh, i hope you've enjoyed this one anyway it's a bit of a short video shorter than what i usually do for the, the sort of tips videos um if you made it this round of video as always thank you very much for watching i shall talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now